Hello there, welcome to my views and this major operation in Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa. Thousands have been arrested in the past few days. What is the target of this operation? Is it against uh, Eritrean refugees staying in Addis Ababa? Is it against uh, pro fano elements or the operation is against criminal elements? Thousands arrested, which shows that uh, the networks in Addis Ababa are well connected uh, networks of people who have been arrested. Secondly, Fano fighters have released a video. I reported yesterday that Fano fighters entered Emmanuel town in Gurjum. I reported about Emmanuel and Shorobit. That Fano fighters entered these two towns in the last 48 hours. Now we have a video for you. I reported that Fano fighters had uh, taken ENDF soldiers as prisoners in Emmanuel. Now a video confirmation for you from Emmanuel. Dozens of ENDF soldiers were taken prisoner by Fano fighters in Emmanuel Gojum. Video evidence for you. Firstly, viewers, Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital, where security forces uh, have to be on high alert. Why? Because Addis Ababa is the stated goal of Fano fighters. It is the stated goal of Ola Romo liberation. Um, it was a stated goal of TDF too, by the way. TDF wanted to reach Addis Ababa. TDF was saying there was no one between TDF and Addis Ababa later. Uh, drone emerged between TPL, between TDF and Addis Ababa, and TDF was pushed back into Tegarai. Now, Fano fighters hoping to reach Addis Ababa, all our members. Uh, so, before their entry, obviously, they would like to prepare the ground. They would like to have their sleeper cells there. Uh, we have seen wall chalkings in support of Fano, pamphlet distribution in support of Fano in Addis Ababa. Ola has some sleeper cells too in, in Addis Ababa, which Ola might activate, by the way, uh, when uh, the need arises. I know that for months, uh, for more than a year, that Ola has built some sleeper cells in Addis Ababa. Now, apart from the presence of pro fano pro-Ola elements, there are criminal elements too. Addis Ababa police has confirmed the arrests of thousands of people in the last five days. Addis Ababa police released a statement last night saying that a five-day long operation uh, had come to an end. The operation had been launched by security forces jointly and in that operation more than 5,000 suspects have been arrested. Who are they? Uh, in which activities were they involved? Uh, the police says that these elements were involved in uh, arms smuggling, uh, counterfeit uh, currency note uh, uh, making, and other criminal activities. Two points which I want to make. Firstly, Presence of 5,000 criminal elements in Addis Ababa raises questions about the uh, security forces. What are they doing? So these criminal elements have been operating in Addis Ababa for years. And secondly, uh, was there a special focus on Eritreans or Pro Fano Amhara youths in this operation. I was contacted by some Eritreans uh, last night. They said that uh, dozens of their uh, companions, their friends have been arrested. Who are they? Are arrested Eritreans involved in criminal activities in the capital city of Ethiopia? Has Ethiopian government launched a crackdown on Eritrean refugees? It's not clear, but uh, dozens of Eritreans uh, are among those who have been arrested. Government, Addis Ababa police, has not 
Maharashtra made the identity of the arrested people public. So we don't know who these people are who have been arrested. Are they Eritians, Ethiopians, are they Amhara? We don't know. Government has only confirmed the arrest. Uh, and uh, we uh, know that uh, government has been saying that some elements uh, want to penetrate Addis Ababa to create chaos. Government banned uh, a peace rally in Addis Ababa a few weeks ago saying that the rally participants were planning to create chaos in the capital city and that uh, anti-peace forces uh, wa wanted to overthrow constitutional order. Pano oh, elements, uh, some Amhara hardliners uh, were accused of planning a coup in Addis Ababa. Tadandia was also accused of planning a coup. So, government uh, uh, gives this impression there are several forces which want to create uh, unrest in the capital city. I think the identities of arrested people should be made public. Overall, we are seeing messages uh, from Eritrean community. They are telling their people to leave Addis Ababa, but how can they leave? These Eritreans left uh, Eritrea, they fled Eritrea, uh, hoping uh, for a better future, but now they are in Ethiopia. And some Eritreans are involved in illegal activities, so because... Uh, a few days ago, the Samaritans were arrested. They were involved in arms smuggling in Addis Ababa. If, if there are thousands of Eritreans living in Addis Ababa, maybe a few are involved in criminal activity. It does not mean that all Eritreans are criminals. We cannot say that. But some Eritreans have been arrested in the past few days, allegedly involved in criminal activity. Overall, arrests of Eritreans is being linked to the ongoing tension between the two countries and Eritrean activists are claiming that uh, Eritreans in Addis Ababa are being targeted because of their uh, background and they're being arrested and they're innocent. Uh, I have not been able to confirm a large crackdown on Eritreans just because of their identity. No, target is uh, mainly uh, targets are criminal elements who are involved in illegal activities in Addis Ababa. Secondly, viewers, the Fano fighters have released a video of uh, Ethiopian National Defense Force soldiers. General Jula uh, uh, la, more than a week ago claimed that uh, ENDF is so competent, so professional, so uh, capable that uh, other countries are dying to send their soldiers to Ethiopia to be trained by Ethiopian National Defense Force. The competent and capable ENDF soldiers are being taken prisoner by Afano fighters. Thousands were taken prisoner by TDF. TDF released them because TDF was not in a position to hold them. In prison, so they release them, and uh, they are arrested, uh, captured by Ola too. And Fano fighters have captured hundreds. Uh, they captured, they, they attack prison, they free prisoners, they freed, uh, they free their colleagues too. Uh, this attack, in which uh, ENDF members were taken prisoner, happened in Emmanuel. I reported that uh, yesterday. And a camp near Emmanuel City, a camp of Ethiopian National Defense Force, was stormed by Afano fighters. Uh, ENDF uh, fled, reportedly. ENDF soldiers fled. They were taken by surprise. Afano fighters uh, took them by surprise and they then captured weapons and uh, they uh, took ENDF soldiers as prisoners. Later, they entered Emmanuel City. I think they have withdrawn from Emmanuel. Uh, I am trying to confirm, but keeping in view their uh, past uh, style of operation, their past pattern of operations, they enter town cities, they attack police stations, they attack ENDF camps, they achieve their goals, they capture weapons, they free prisoners, they uh, take ENDF soldiers as prisoners, and then they uh, withdraw. That is what they do. 
uh, and it happened uh, in a manual to reportedly that they withdrew though i am still waiting for visual confirmation or confirmation from sources who are on the ground or who can reach the people on the ground so far fano's entry in shore orbit a manual confirmed and fano has uh, taken endf soldiers business how many dozens at least uh, 30 around 30 can be seen in this video but what i learned is that uh, around 70 i think um, around 70 were taken prisoner by fano fighters in a manual why the video showing endf soldiers taken prisoner by fano fighters in a manual manual is in gujum amhara region i think for watch